Hi again, Internet. Uh, my name is Scott, and this is my post about the Australian Democrats political party. Um, uh, this is my review of them in regards to the 2013 federal election, um, where I'm reviewing all 54 of the parties involved. So, uh, the Democrats. Now, I like to say to people, um, if they know the phrase, keep the bastards honest, then they know something about the, the Democrats already. And one of the real joys for me uh, in doing uh, this review of all of the parties was to relive and um, to relearn the, just the, the significant impact of the Democrats throughout Australian history uh, and throughout the polit uh, our political landscape over the past 40 years. Um, just to give you an idea, the Democrats um, peaked in, uh, they were founded in 1977 and they peaked in 1990, where they they got 12.6 of the of the national vote. Um, that's over 1.1 million votes, which is a lot of votes, especially the population was smaller then. Um, it's a huge amount. Um, to give you an idea of how successful that was, that gave them uh, a, pe a period of being in control of the Senate for a short time, and it also means that they're the fourth most successful party in Australia's history. Um, so they had. Uh, they've had a lot of success over the years. Um, so the Democrats were founded in 1977, and the Democrats' original founder and leader is Don Chip, the late Don Chip, who, um, again, was the original third man of Australian politics. He gave voters um, an alternative, a genuine alternative, uh, at a time where Australian politics was almost certainly a, a two-party game. You had Labour on one side, Liberal on the other, and that's all there was to it for, for years and years and years. Um, Don Chip really struck a chord with, um, with his social justice initiatives, and the Democrats, um, although they've changed a lot in the, the 40 years in terms of numbers, um, and they were almost made extinct a couple of times, I'll talk about that later, um, their ideologies are still pretty much stayed the same. Um, they're libertarians, they're big on social justice and they're big on the environment. Probably a little more geared towards social justice than the Greens, um, but the two parties are very similar in, in terms of ideology. Um, indeed, in the, the founding days of the Democrats, it was Don Chip who, who stood um, in, in strong protest to the Francom Dam being built in Tasmania um, in the late 70s and the 80s. Uh, the early 80s, and he, he stood uh, in barricade alongside Bob Brown and alongside Chris Milne, um, and they were the voices that stopped that dam from being built. Uh, it was a real uh, landmark case in Australian history. So, um, again, environment has always been very important to the Democrats, um, but so has social justice, um, and they're very much interested in giving a fair go to all Australians. Uh, you can quote that as a, a famous Democrat uh, line, I guess. Um, so they're big on indigenous equality and free higher education and uh, same-sex equality, always have been. Um, they're big proponents for better health care, refugee compassion. Um, so all of those uh, civil liberties uh, areas that the Democrats are, are still quite concentrated on. Um, so again, it was 1990 where they, they peaked. Um, they had at the time some household names as politicians, people like Shaw Kono. Um, they started to dwindle, and in the past 10 years, they have lost dramatically lost a, a lot of uh, voters. And there's a lot of reasons for that. Um, people predominantly put it down to the rise of the Greens in the country. Obviously, the Greens um, have enjoyed tremendous success in the last decade. And it's uh, the Democrats, I think a couple of times they had to deregister or they were threatened with deregistering because they didn't have enough people in their party. Uh, so they went from over a million votes um, to pretty much uh, none or very uh, negligible amounts of votes. Um, quite, um, I guess, quite surprisingly, we see on the Victorian Senate paper, which is here, um, Democrats, I can't see them in here, but they're they're here somewhere, and they've got look, they've got there they are, and they've got a full yeah we are AB, and they've got a full six candidates, which is really surprising. They're only one of four parties that have that, so um, it looks like they're back, and it looks like they're um, they're well, they've always been serious politicians, of course, but it looks like 
Uh, hopefully they'll experience a bit of a resurgence. Again, there's not many parties that have that sort of presence on the Senate paper. That's my review of the Democrats. Um, if you want to find out more, feel free to check out the links. Uh, I think I have a, a party link and a Wikipedia link in the description of this video. Uh, and feel free to like and share if, uh, if you want to. Great. Thanks very much. Bye.